is Kano Amaru a Jonin? Nine other questions about him, answered. Kano Amaru would grow up to become a main character in the Boruto series, but there are still a lot of questions that the fandom has about him. Kano Amaru is one of Kishimoto's strongest creations. It might pass some people by, but the character represents the next generation of ninja that Naruto and the others trained so hard to protect. Moreover, he drives home the way the world tends to repeat itself not just in terms of war, but in terms of humanity itself, as Kano Amaru walks the same path that Naruto and Iruka did before Hima class clown turned ace ninja. It was also awesome to see Naruto have someone who looked up to him and appreciated him for his hard work, even if his work didn't always pay off. Kano Amaru would grow up to become a main character in the series Boruto, and will hopefully continue to play a key role in future arcs. 10. Is Kano Amaru a Jonin? Yes, he worked his way up to the title. Kano Amaru spent much of his youth as a bit of a class clown, until he learned the value of hard work from Naruto. Though he was still playful, he started taking his classes more seriously and became a top-tier genin for his class and the de facto leader of his group underneath his mentor. He would continue advancing and it's no surprise that by the time of Boruto he is a respected jonin in the ninja world. These days, he works alongside Naruto's kid Boruto, mentoring him on ninja missions. 9. What happened to Kanoamaru's partners? Udon grows up to be a jonin and Moegi leads Team 10. As a kid, Kanoamaru has a pair of friends who work with him in Udon ISE and Moegi Kazumatsuri. The group of them are eventually all placed on a team together, and grow up together as Team Ebisu. Udon ISE would grow up to become a jonin and be responsible for leading Team 5. The group that has Rock Lee's son Metal Lee and his partners Denki and Iwabi. Meanwhile, Moegi would lead Team 10, the new version of Inoshikacho. 8. You taught Kanoamaru the Raisin Naruto taught him the move. During his very early years, Kanoamaru gained a secret technique known only by some of the highest level ninja. One even some older and more talented ninja than he weren't capable of using. Though he was still a genin, Naruto decided to teach him the ability he knew best to make into his secret move, the Raisengan. Much like Naruto, Kanoamaru needed a shadow clone to help him use it early on, but over time he was able to do it on his own proving his talent as a genius ninja. 7. Why does Kanoamaru start looking up to Naruto? Naruto respects him as an individual. Kanoamaru begins looking up to Naruto once the young boy trips in Naruto's presence. Instantly assuming Naruto did it rather than faulting his clumsiness. He assumes Naruto is a high-level ninja. However, Naruto also does something for Kanoamaru that no one else will do in the city of Kanoha. Everyone else seems to acknowledge him as the grandson of the third. But Naruto sees him solely as Kanoamaru, garnering the young ninja's respect. 6. How old is Kanoamaru? The beginning of Boruto has him at 27 years old. The character of Kanoamaru has grown up before everyone's eyes. When the character is introduced, he's an eight-year-old brat that's completely spoiled because of his position as the third's grandson. By the time of Shippuden, he's become a genin at eleven years old, and during Naruto he ages to twelve. Between Naruto and Boruto, fifteen years passed, placing him at twenty-seven. He's long been a jonin. In charge of leading younger ninja into combat scenarios. 5. What nature transformations does he use? He can use fire, wind, and yang. In the world of Naruto, every ninja has a specific chakra affinity. This aids them when they go for nature transformation. A high-level chakra control technique allowing them to change the properties of their chakra to resemble specific elements. Being a genius ninja, 
Kanoamaru, is able to master fire. Wind, and Yang, release. The anime grants him the additional ability to use lightning release as well in the Boruto anime, and while this isn't something the manga has shown him to be capable of, it's not an unlikely ability for him. 4. How did Kanoamaru become a chunin? Yes, a 2011 OVA explores this journey. In 2011, a Naruto OVA told the story of how Kanoamaru became a chunin. Entitled Chunin Exam on Fire. Naruto vs. Kanoamaru, it showed the two genin taking part in another chunin exams. The two of them are paired up against one another, but by this point Naruto has already mastered sage mode and is leagues ahead of anything Kanoamaru can do. Kanoamaru just narrowly manages to get a hit off Naruto, which causes Naruto to decide to go into sage mode. Unfortunately, such a transformation was banned at the tournament, resulting in Naruto being disqualified and Kanoamaru becoming a chunin. 3. What's his relationship with Boruto? He is in charge of Boruto's team. Kanoamaru is the lead ninja in charge of Team 7 for this generation. This version of Team 7 consists of Naruto's son Boruto. Sakura and Sasuke's daughter Sarada, and Orochimaru's child Mitsuki. Kanoamaru is actually quite happy to be in charge of mentoring Boruto, teaching him to become a more powerful ninja in the same way Naruto inspired him to do the same. 2. Who voices Kanoamaru? This character has numerous different voice actors based on age and language. In Japan, Kanoamaru is voiced by Ikkyu Otani and he's young, who's best known for her work as Pikachu and Tony Chopper in One Piece. By the time he's an adult, his voice actor switches to Hyde Nori Takahashi, who's played a number of roles, but Kanoamaru is his biggest role yet. In America, Kanoamaru is voiced by Colleen O'Shaughnessy, who's the voice of Sora from Digimon and Ino in Naruto. As an adult, Kanoamaru is voiced by Max Middleman, who's also Saitama from One Punch Man and Ruji from Persona 5. 1. Does Kanoamaru want to be a Hokage? Yes, it is an ambition of his. Kanoamaru doesn't just want to be a high-level jonin, but actually has his goals set a bit higher with the desire to become the Hokage. It's a role that he looks forward to taking on, and has done his best to become an outstanding genius ninja to make it there. He's even developed a catchphrase because of that, there's no shortcut on the path to becoming the Hokage. Currently, Kanoamaru feels very much like he's in the Kakashi role of being the next person to become the Hokage before Sarada can reach that same goal. <laughs>